Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 65 of the weekly replay with me hijack and today I am bringing you a single match in the tier 6 Bre uh, French medium tank the Bretagne Panther now this is a duplicate tank as well as like all the other Panthers that are out there there's the you know the German one and then there's the uh, a couple other ones I don't really remember like the poodle and all them. So, the Brett Panther, I've featured it before on my channel, and I've really enjoyed playing it. And this match is definitely a showcase of what you can do with this tank. Now, this is a tier 8, 7, 6 match, so I'm bottom tier by minus, by plus 2 uh, on the map Redshire. So, Right off the bat, being a bottom tier medium tank, you know that you're you're just there for support. You're just going to help out your team to do the best that you can. And I don't ever expect to live long in these kind of matches just for the fact that, you know, there's tanks that are so much higher tiered than you that surviving is just not going to be a priority for me. Well, it's a priority for as long as it possibly can, but I wouldn't expect going into this match to live more than halfway through, and then I'm just going to die. And personally, that's just because of me as a player. I'm not that great. Uh, I've got a 49... If you watch my streams, you know I've got a 49.92% overall win rate, and I'm trying to claw my way back up to 50%. Um, I don't think I've ever been at 50%. And I've been playing since closed beta, so it would be a nice treat to see myself improve to that point in the match. So if you want to join me on that journey, please tune in to my Twitch streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. So, Redshire has a couple of spots that I like to go to, especially if I'm in the south, and that is this bush line here at uh, F5. Now, if, a good, if you have a good team... And by that I mean like a team with a decently skilled light tank. You'll know that they will go where this 5916 and the AMX 1357 is over towards the 89 area and they'll spot these heavies that will tend to drive down the 9 line to go to the blimp where the heavies go. And because of that, you can sit in this bush at F5 where I am with the Scorpion, Leo, and Arl, and get good shots cross-firing into those heavy tanks and any other tanks that go over to that side of the map. You can see we've already got 400 points of damage by getting some shots into the heavies, but most of them pushed around the bend there where we are unable to cross-fire them, so they're dealing with the heavies there. But I also managed to get a shot on the Thunderbolt up on the top of the ridge at C5. It's a pretty good position for early game. Now, you can see that we lost the blimp because they just totally flooded that side of the map. That line of the map is totally flooded and we've lost that side of the map. Our KV-1S did the smart thing and fell back. Our E-25 is over there to help spot. But our Lorraine is still sitting in a position where he's going to get shot as soon as he gets spotted. And, well, it's, it's going to be game over for him. But you'll see what happens later on. So I've got some nice little casemate shots on this Dicker Max and he's just sitting there and I'm just going to keep pounding on him and I hit him four times before he finally got into some cover. Now he I don't know what he was trying to do there but he was definitely not in a very good position for a non-turreted tank destroyer. Okay. So still sitting in the same position. Uh, we've lost the uh, nine zero lanes we have a Type 59 who's pretty much won the castle on the one line. And we've pushed back the enemy to the top edge of the map plus the left side, or the right side of the map. Uh, we are currently down four to six, so we're down by two tanks. Now, going forward, we need to figure out how we can get a win out of this. Now, I've switched to the premium rounds because... Being a bottom tier medium tank, most of the stuff that's still in the game, like the S tier VS1, KV2, well KV2 is different, but anything that is the Barask, for example, Challenger, they're going to be tough for me to pen, and I need to figure out how to maximize the amount of damage going forward in order to help my team do the absolute best we can. I'm not expecting us to win at this point, 
because we don't have good map well I couldn't say we don't have good map control but we're still kind of split we don't have the best map control but we do own the majority of the map so at this point in the game I saw the type 59 over on the castle and I in the one line and I decided that he needed to get help because we need to win at least one flank and, and winning this flank here would be a big push because then it kind of hems in these guys to less than a third of the map Type 59 takes out, or sorry, the, the Leo takes out the Schmoltrum, which is a terrible tank, by the way. And the E25 takes out their light tanks. So now there's no more light tanks in the game. And I've moved over to this position to help the Type 59 because I'm knowing that we can get some crossfire shots onto these guys that are camping to base. Now, knowing that the Schmoltrum's gone, I pull out to that corner and I got spotted which shows the Barask being right there. So he puts two into me, bounces one, which is fine. I put one into him, I put two into him. I've got a good quick reload, so we're gonna try and get a third shot, and I miss. And then Artie smashes me. Yes, of course, three Artie in this match. What else are we going to do but get hit by Artie? So we've got these two guys on this end of the map. We've got the Barask over here. The KV-2 hasn't been spotted. Hummel. An M44 shot me, so they're over here somewhere. What's a guy to do? We're only down by one tank, which is good. But we're still at a slight disadvantage, even though we have good map control. I think at this point in the game, we've got the majority of the map in our possession. But, and I don't know what I was doing here, but that was a risky shot. Risky drive. I could have taken a lot more damage than 39, but... It's 39 hit points. I'm trying to see if I can spot that Barask again. Um, this match was played on, I believe, Thursday. Yes, this was played during my Thursday stream last week. So this is a fairly new replay with the current version of the client. And I just had to share it with you. I had another plan for today's video, but I had an, this one was something that impressed me enough that I wanted to share it with you guys so I made it this week's choice and next week we will have some different videos okay so I was trying to spot the Barask but he's already buggered off down to the F lane he's in F5 and he's probably the most dangerous tank at this point in the game he's got the two shot auto loader he can alpha 700 damage there you go you can see the that Scorpion G got smashed from full health to nothing Probably two shots from the Brosk, and then he got taken out by the Panther or the T-34. And, well, yeah, that was just a bad position. So, he was still in the same spot for the entire match. So, that's his fault. He should have probably moved back a little bit. But I'm not going to fault him for that. He was in a powerful position. It just didn't work out. So, we've got the Leo and the Type 59. I didn't realize the Type 59 at this point had fallen back there. So, we need to worry about taking out that Brosk. As well as the Panther 2 and the T-34. So you can see the KV-1S is the T-34 is down to one shot for pretty much everybody. Yeah, he's at no, he's on 243. So he's not a two, he's not a one shot. He's a two shot for pretty much everybody. Artie take quickly makes him a one shot though, which is nice. So our Artie was on the game. And I believe that was the M44. So we've got a nice shot, and I miss mine because of RNG. But the Leo takes out the T-34. So now we're still down by one tank. But where is the Barask and the Panther? The Panther should be still somewhere around his current location. I get spotted. And so I got a new position. And boom, the KV-2, which hasn't been spotted for a while, appears behind me on the other side of the hill at F2. So we need to get to a position to take him out because he's a definite big threat with his big gun. And then there's the Barask. Gets spotted. But I need to focus on the KV-2. He's going to shoot the Leo in the back. I put one shot into him. He's reloading. I put two shots into him. Take him down for a third shot for me. One shot. Take him out. Done. So now we're tied. 8-8. Eight, eight. I sidestep a nice arty blast. Taking no damage. Panther 2 is spotted with the KVS. The Barras gets taken out by Artie, which was a wicked blind shot. We're now up 9-8. Pa and now we need to worry about the Panther M2, Challengers, STR VS1, and the 3 Artie. 
So we still have a chance. There's always a chance. So we're up by one. Let's see. Panther 2. I go back to the center bush just because I've got some nice soft cover. Don't have to worry about it. And as long as nobody gets too close to me, I should be okay. So, communicating with Yardi, he says it was pure luck that he hit that blind shot. But, you know what? That might have been the blind shot that turns the tide of the map for us. Panther 2 gets spotted. And he's down to 264 hit points. I bring the turret around. I hit him once. Track him. Or critical hit him for zero. And managed to take him out of the match with 100 points of damage. Two kills, 1,737 points of damage, and at this point in the match, we're up by two, and I did not expect to be still alive. Right click, left click, delete the challenger. Way to go. Three kills. S tier VS1 is the next tank left remaining other than Artie. Let's so really see if we can get to a nice position. I'm still shooting premium rounds at this point because, you know what, we need... I want to win. I'm having... You know, I'm trying to get my win rate up to 50%. And I need to get wins. And at this point, this this week has been pretty inconsistent with wins. So, so there's a nice shot. One shot tracks him. He goes dark. And I'm just going to lay shots downrange into that SDRVS one. I believe he's, he was moved over to this position. So I'm kind of just wasting shots at this point. But the Leo does spot him eventually. I get smart and stop shooting. He's the only tank left I need to use the premium rounds for. So there's no harm in using him. We'll put him down range. He's done quite a bit of hit. And he's down to 90 points. And he gets taken out. It is now tied 12 12. We've got one medium tank with two Arty versus three Arty. Now you can see this. We've got the 13 F3 and the Lorraine. And the Lorraine is actually AFK. He has not moved or fired since he got to that position. So it's basically two versus three with three Arty left. And I have to scout for the enemy team for to, to find the enemy team because I'm the only person with mobility left in the match they've got three arty we've got two but basically we've only got one essentially and the longer I can keep that f3 alive the better it is for me because I don't have to focus down on killing um, all three arty that I'm gonna have trouble finding so the f3 spots the Hummel and the F3 is at 7 hit points. And the Hummel's at 52. So they're both one shots for basically everybody. I'm hoping to get a nice sh silhouette here. Can't see him though. He takes out the F3. So I've mistake there. I should have moved a little closer to get into a better range to shoot him. So that's what I'm going to do now, which is better late than never. Our Lorraine is still FK. The two-minute warning bell has gone off. We've got three versus one at this point because the Lorraine is being pointless. He's alive, so it means they have to kill him to win or cap, which they can't cap unless more than all three of them get on the base at this point. But I need to find that Hummel and then the next three Artie. So I kind of have an idea that two of them were up here somewhere. Just got to find the Hummel. I spot the Hummel. Right click, left click, shoot him through the haystack, take him out, and then I just got to keep moving because I was spotted, and there's the already shot right there. Both two. Boom, boom. Okay. I've got a minute 18 left to find two SPGs in a tank that isn't exactly speedy. Well, what's a guy to do? I am going to be in trouble here. This is going to be a draw or... Yeah, this is going to be a draw because there's no way they can kill the Lorraine and me without knowing where the Lorraine is. Minute has started. The final minute of the match. I'm at 4 kills, 2,140 points of damage. But I did not expect to be alive at this point in the game, let alone have 4 kills. 45 seconds. The tension is going. I've... You know, I'm, I'm at this point in the match, it's like, what do I do? Like, I can't get into the cap circle, there's no point in capping. I just need to find the arty. Hopefully my reload is fast enough to kill them. I have a feeling that the M444, M44 is over here. I did spot him. I put one shot into him and miss. He tracks me. I quickly heal my crew to get the reload it's back up. There's one shot. Two shots. It's going to take three shots to kill him. 15 seconds remaining. I kill him. Five kills. One tank remaining. Where is that final SPG? 
I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him. Four seconds. Three, two. He gets spotted right there. There's no time to take him out as I would probably need three shots. And we get a draw. Such a heartbreaking draw with all that effort put into it. But in the end, it's still five kills in a tier eight match being a tier six tank. It did not think I was going to be that kind of finish. Definitely a good effort but on my part, but still a loss nonetheless being a draw. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a like down below if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do release new videos each and every Sunday as well. I stream on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. Link will be in the description for my Twitch channel. Join me and I hope to see you then. Take care.